Valorant is the largest project in the game industry and a large number of constantly updated maps and agents inevitably leads to new bugs in the game code. Of course, developers are trying to timely fix bugs found. But some of them remain from patch to patch for a few days and sometimes for months. This is the best of Valorant channel, and we've handpicked for you the best bugs that work until now. Phoenix is one of the oldest agents in our favorite game. Apparently, because of this, the game creators decided that he can use his Molotov through the ceiling, thus not exposing himself to enemy bullets. Unfortunately, it works only on the map Ascent. You can try out this tip in a training match. To do this, align just above this tile and aim straight under the lamp, then use the ability. Congratulations! You are now a true Fire Lord. Knowing your enemy's movements ahead of time practically guarantees your victory. And if you do this a little bit through the textures, you can anticipate the enemy's early attack. For example, this can be repeated on the split map. Stand exactly on this step. Then aim at the right corner of a light coming from the lantern on the other side of a street. Charge your bow owl to maximum and be sure to select the function where the arrow will make two bounces from the wall. Whoa! If you have succeeded too, be sure to let us know in the comments. Another interesting tip with a sage's wall. To make it work the same way, you must stand parallel to the bush and aim your scope at it. A couple of moves and you're already looking through half of a plant, while you can't be seen. Before continuing my story, I would like to warn you against repeating what is shown in the video. Otherwise, you are likely to face penalties. Sage again and again her first ability. It seems to me that the game is too much trouble because of this wall. Maybe it should be deleted. Well, in order to once again climb inside the texture, we need to stand near this brick, aim at the very top of the pot of flowers, and then turn our ability so that its left corner is in the middle of the brick in front, exactly as shown in the video. Incredibly, we're again seeing more than we should have. Don't stray too far from the heaven map, because Sage can get inside the wall again in the mid. To do that, stand in this corner and aim exactly at those two bricks. Worth a couple of shots there, it will help us in the future. After that, quickly move our sight slightly to the right on this bar. We turn the wall so that its left corner was at a place where we shot two times before. Again, we see more than we should. Is this even legal? To repeat the next point, go to the fracture map and select a sova. We have to crouch in the zip lane so that our scope is looking exactly at this line. We load the bow to maximum and use the two bounce function. Revealing area. That's it! Now you can see what your opponent is doing in the window. How the arrow gets there is anyone's guess. And we're moving on. Continuing to use the sage wall to its fullest, this time on the breeze map you can become a Shaolin monk in the just one move and literally stand with one foot on a long pole. To do that, simply place the wall in the way shown in the video. Wow, even I managed to do something like that for the first time. Icebox is a card that often annoys everyone, especially when your opponent makes a move that causes him to light you and your team through a fence. Here's how to get back at him. We stand on this obstacle, charge the bow to maximum, and select only one bounce. Then we have to shoot at the moment of our jump. We're back on the split map, which means it's time to light up all the enemies who are trying to knock you off the point. Charge your bow to maximum, use both bounces and most importantly, aim just above and just to the right corner of the building. Revealing area. Congratulations! 
you've just learned an interesting new trick. Don't forget to press the like button. Let's move on. Remember the phoenix's molotov on the ascent map? Well, it turns out you can do it again from the other side. We stand at approximately this spot and aim exactly at this corner. Then set the floor and the ceiling on fire at the same time. Isn't that cool? This moment just blew my mind. Look at that. You can see through the textures of half the map. How? It's easy. Stand on this point. Aim just above the light square and use our bow to the maximum. Don't forget to turn out the bounces. They are not needed here. Revealing area. Luckily, there are no other bugs in the game at the moment that can break the game so badly. We hope you won't repeat what you see in the video in real games. Thank you all very much for watching. See you all again. Bye.